Maybe I'll just do a things that I'm not here for church edition because there are some things that we have to stop doing in the body of Christ. <laughs> things that are getting on my nerves in the body of Christ. And I know ain't nobody's like, everybody's like, who the heck are you? I get that. These are just my opinions. This is my YouTube. If I feel like venting, it's what I'm going to do. All right. Get into that. Okay. Please excuse my hair. My, um, my, uh, stylist is on vacation, a much deserved vacation. Hey girl. And, um, so she couldn't do my hair this week. So this is like a really old dude that I've been trying to hold on to. And it's growing out. There's like an afro growing under the, underneath my haircut. But I'm trying. I, I don't like white stockings. I don't feel like white stockings are becoming on my brown, luxurious skin. So I choose not to wear them, mainly because I, be, because I don't like white shoes. And I feel like if you were to commit the travesty of wearing white stockings and black shoes, you should be excommunicated from the church. For what reason are you wearing white stockings and black shoes? Like, in what universe or realm of reality is that okay? White stockings and black shoes, I mean... I get it if it was 1988, but we have overcome, ladies. Stop wearing white stockings. Like, why? And y'all know how I feel about white pumps, okay? With white pumps, it's a thin line between motherboard missionary society, willing workers, and strip club. So, it's really, really, and I know white pumps are in this season. I've seen them on Plenty of Runway. They're all in the fashion magazines. Y'all can do what you want to do. But as for me in my house, won't be no white pumps up in here, okay? Won't be none. And I admonish you all to just leave them alone, honey, because it's a very, 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 very dangerous territory. Like, no. We, we as a people need to do better. I'm just not here for children being able to bring activity packets to church. I was a kid, you got the bulletin and a pen. If that, okay, you can play mash and tic-tac-toe with the people in your vicinity. If not, you had to sit there and if you didn't fall asleep, you uh, you had to at least act like you was paying attention, even if you weren't. Nowadays, there are book bags that are filled with iPads and Kindles and iPods and, and coloring books and, and flashcards. And, I mean, I saw in, the, in church today, little buddy was sitting there with his iPod. No, I'm sorry, with his iPad, clearly playing a game, sitting in the sanctuary with some Beats by Dre headphones on. You coming to church... You can pay attention in school. You ought to be able to pay attention in church. So I'm not here for that. Okay. Another thing that I'm not here for in church, turn to your neighbor 50, 11 times in the sermon. Now, I understand, you know, I'm not here to, you know, judge anybody. I'm not a minister. I don't know that life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not here to say that you can't do it. But I'm just letting you know, for me, turn to your neighbor. After about three of them, I'm just going to keep my head straight. Like, I'm not turning anymore. I didn't come to church to speak to the people around me. I don't know them. I may not, even if I do. I don't want to talk to them. I talk to them all the time. I came to church, and I don't want to talk to my neighbor. I want you to talk to me. Nine times out of ten, after the third, turn to your neighbor or hunt your neighbor or kick your neighbor in the throat. I, Takiya, will just be right here. And I know you might be talking to the side of my head, but that's fine. That's fine. If that's what you want to do. I'm not doing it. Yelling praise teams or abrasive praise teams and worship leaders that accost you and threaten your life to worship the Lord. Like, out of your seat! Everybody up out of your seat! Like, I didn't... Wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute. Okay? Just because I'm taller doesn't mean that I'm going to wear flat shoes because you're short. Like, I get it a lot in church because when you're up and you're doing things and you have to, like, stand next to people... Everybody always feels like they need to make it a point. Like, oh my God, you're so tall. And they talk about your shoes like, and you still wear shoes. Like, sis, you know, I'm tall. And I'm going to be here. And I'm going to be tall. So if that's going to be a problem for you, I don't really know what to tell you. Because that is not my business. Okay? And everybody knows that I love a good shoe. Like, I don't feel like because I'm 5'9 and a half or 5'10 that I should be relegated to flats. And y'all know I'm not wearing no kitten heels, so y'all can just hang that up, honey. Nobody's home. I'm over it. Stop talking about me being tall. I get it. I've been tall. I'm going to be the same tall kid next week. Every time we sing, somebody says, oh, I can't see. Or you make me feel so short. Girl, what do you want? $5? What do you want from me? Oh, well, let me give you this four quarters. You deserve a, a, a cookie because you've 
actually notice the obvious. Like, girl, girl, I'm going to wear my shoes. So when you stand next to me, be prepared for me to just tower over you. Like, it's something that I've had to deal with as well. Like, I'm not enthused that I'm looking, you know, like Goliath. I'm not like, I don't turn up because I'm the tallest thing on the stage. But I've accepted it because I can't do anything about it. Like, so I think you should too. Finally, people always think that because you have home training and because you, uh, and, be and because you, are nice and you you always I always try to speak and be cordial and polite and respectful especially with people that I'm serving with in the church but at the same time that doesn't excuse you or give you a pass to try me because I will snatch your edges in the name of Jesus sis like if you want to come for me be prepared to be gathered because I will get you together and then proceed to do what I came here to do, okay? Like, don't ever think that because I'm saved, and I am, that you can try me, okay? Because it's not going down. So, I'm not here for you thinking that because I'm respectable, and I say, Miss, Miss Ma'am, and, and I say, you know, Miss So-and-so, and Sister This and That, and I'm very even-tempered. I like to joke around. I like to have a good time. But a lot of people take that for weakness, and a lot of people take that to think that they can just say anything that they want to say to you. But, honey, I will come for your neck. Like, girl, like, I don't know if you really get it. Like, I'm not really sure if you're understanding. But if you shake the communion table, I'm going to shake it back, honey. It's just going to be shook. Like, don't feel like you can just do what you want to do and say what you want to say to me, even though we're in the house of the Lord, in the house of prayer, honey. I mean, I don't want to take it there, but since you took it, let's go. Okay? Like, ugh. This week and last week, I've had to get someone together. And I'm proud of myself because I didn't curse. But I was able to do it and to get my point across. Maybe I'm sleepy. I couldn't sleep last night because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm fighting a cold and I just couldn't sleep last night. And um, when I finally did drop off to sleep, I had to get up because I had to be at church at 720 to sing all three services. So I'm tired. Maybe I just need a nap. This video is a little volatile. So if you're offended, I apologize. But these are just my thoughts and I'm not here to make anybody feel bad. Um, I just wanted to say what I have to say. All right. Okay. I feel better now that I've gotten that off my chest. Holy God. I feel so much better. So I'm going to go now. There's a lot of TV tonight. Celebration of Gospel comes on and the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. I'm excited for that. And then I'm going to try to get some rest because like I said, I didn't sleep good last night. But I love you guys. Share this video. If I think about some people to tag, I'll scroll them. If not, and if you're watching this and you want to respond do you honey come on i'll post it as a video response all right y'all be good love you bye